Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to undo in your notes app on your iPhone. The first way I'm going to show you is how to undo using the hidden undo method. So first we're going to launch our notes app and then I'm just going to type out a note as I would. So with older iPhones that don't have the newer iOS uh, system in place, before you'd have to follow a few more steps in order to access the undo button, but now it actually shows up right at the top here. You'll find the backwards arrow here to undo what you've typed, and then that forward facing arrow to redo what you've typed. So it's super easy to access now, whereas beforehand you had to select the markup tool here, and then those undo and redo buttons would appear as well. So same idea, you can select undo and redo, Another way to undo and redo is to double tap with three fingers. So when you use that um, double tap option, we have that undo button on the left side and then that redo button on the right side. And we can just go back and forth and select these. Alternatively, you can do a three finger swipe to the left and right. So to the left is gonna be the undo option. And then to the right is the redo option here. Um, this method is not recommended as because your phone is touchscreen, it's really easy to switch to something else in your notes. Like using a three finger swipe can switch to a different note. Um, it can even close out the app, but this is a quick and easy undo and redo method as well. Lastly, what you can do is turn on the shake to undo option. If it's not already enabled, I'm going to show you how to enable this. So we're going to launch our settings and we're going to scroll down into accessibility and then under physical and motor we're gonna go into touch and shake to undo here mine is already enabled but if yours wasn't you would just want to turn this toggle on now to use this in an example if I made a mistake and I wanted to undo this I would simply shake my phone and I can undo typing if you don't know that you have this enabled it can be frustrating if this undo keeps popping up so now you know also how to go in and turn this off if you don't want it on so all of these methods i showed you work for iphone and ipad they should all successfully work for both um, but just in case one doesn't this is why i've given you a few different ways uh, to undo in your notes Last but not least, if you have an iPad with a keyboard, the easiest way to undo on there would be just using the command Z or shift command Z to redo, just as you would on any other laptop or computer. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that all of this information was helpful to you, and I will see you guys in the next one.